Ito po ay isang uh, malungkot na pangyayari sa kasaysayan po ng aming pamilya, lalo na uh, bata pa po ang aming mga anak. You know? uh, hindi po totoo ang mga paratang na isinasampa sa akin. Matagal na, matagal na po kaming uh, may problema ng, aming, ng aking asawa since 2013. At ngayon ito ay nababahiran ng politika. Um, ako po ay suportado ng aking uh, pamilya Bautista at uh, hindi lang po ang pamilya Bautista, pati na rin po ang Cruz Vasquez family. At uh, ipapakita po namin sa mga susunod na araw na ito po ay isang kaso ng paninikil at panggigipit. Sa totoo lang po, ako po ang biktima dito. Biktima ng uh, pagtataksil at ako din po ay nabiktima ng uh, ang aking pong pagkatao para po akong nagahasa sa aking sariling pamamahay nung ako po ay um, pinagbawalang umuwi sa sariling pamamahay, naglagay po sila ng mga armed goons para po pigilin akong umuwi sa aking sariling pamamahay. At nung po kami ay nakapasok, nakita ko po na yung aking mga lock cabinets ay nabuksan. Yung pong iPad ko, pinagkukukuha lahat po ng aking mga ari-arian, mga documents, mga uh, reports, mga pera, GCs, etc na pag-aari ko po at pag-aari po ng aking pamilya. Siguro dapat nyo rin po malaman nung ako po yung nasa Amerika when I was observing the US elections um, I got a call from my uh, uh, BDO uh, branch manager who said that my wife was withdrawing 117,000 US dollars and 250,000 pesos from our joint account and transferring it to her personal account. Nung tina tinatawagan ko siya at tinatanong kung bakit po niya ito ginagawa, ayaw niya pong sagutin yung aking tawag. At ito, ito nga po, nung ako ay pauwi na galing Estados Unidos, papunta ka Amerika, nakatanggap po ng text ang aking kapatid na mas matanda, sabi niya na wag na daw muna akong umuwi sa aming bahay. Meron na daw siyang... Uh, in-engage na abogado at uh, dapat daw ay masettle namin muna po yung aming uh, uh, paghihiwalay bago daw po ako pauwiin. So, sabi ko nga, ito po ay maliwanag na uh, paninikil at panggigipit na ginagawa sa ako. Hindi po totoo yun, no? At uh, in fact, kahapon, kasama ko po yung mga inquirer uh, reporters at we went through all of those items and I can tell you that they are either in the Salel, for example, yung uh, Bonifacio's High Street, yung pong, uh, meron pong mga accounts na fake na hindi po talagang, they do not exist, yung pong... Uh, 35 ang bank accounts. Sa totoo lang po, hindi ko po alam yung dami dahil ninakaw po yung mga passbook. Yung amount po na sinasabi doon, I cannot verify but I don't think it is that high. Um, yung offshore accounts, I only have one. Okay? And, but this one is shared with my family. At yun din ang gusto ko pong uh, bigyan diin. No? Na over the years, my family, including my parents who are heirs, My uh, brothers and sisters who live in the U.S. have been regularly co-investing with me uh, since the 90s. So marami po kaming uh, umbaga, sosyo na magkakapatid. At lahat po ito ay nakadokumento at pwede namin ipakita. Sir, you said earlier na medyo na ng politika. Who is behind Uh, siguro mas magandang tignan nyo na muna Meron na kaming information uh, Kung sino Pero uh, We are still uh, further vetting the information At siguro nga Ang anaano ko is that Ang, ang pinabahiran ay Hindi lang ako ang COMELEC 
pati na rin yung eleksyon natin noong 2016. No? At pasasabi ko na siguro our May 2016 elections are the cleanest and the best managed in Philippine election history. Ito po ay sinabi hindi lang ng mga local watchdogs tulad ng PPCRV, NAMFRAIL, Democracy Watch, Comelec Advisory Council, but Carter Center. Ito rin po ay binigyan tayo ng parangal no? ng International Center for Parliamentary Studies na nagsasabing uh, Comelec was the best election management body of the year in 2016 in the world. No? Aside from that, nagkaroon po ng Pulse Asia sur survey of 1,200 respondents in July of 2016, 90% po ang approval rating dun sa nakaraang eleksyon. Sir, how did she get access kaya kay President Duterte? Do you know if she's friends with any of the... Uh, the hindi, ay, hindi ata. Pero yun nga ang nangyari, no? na yung kanya abogado and I have it all no na tinext ako at sabi ito daw yung terms niya okay at humihingi nga na amount of mga 620 million kung hindi ko daw ibibigay pupuntahan daw niya si President Duterte yun ang warning it was sometime in June I have it I have the um, I think I should uh, let me look for it. Um, alam mo, the president was very kind. Uh, he was like a not only a mediator but a marriage counselor. He recounted his own experiences with his family and that he was providing us good advice. Kasi ang nangyari niyan is that nung nag-meeting kami, Doon sa Malacanang, no? napatawag ako nung uh, Tuesday, August 1. No? The meeting was supposed to be at 5 p.m., but the actual meeting started at about 8.20. Kasama ko po ang aking elder sister, si uh, Susan, pero kasama ko din po ang aking mother-in-law at ang aking stepfather-in-law doon sa meeting na yun, no? My mother couldn't make it because my mother is a stroke victim and she is still recovering, no? At uh, nag-usap po kami ni Pangulo, kinuwento ko po yung aking pani at uh, nagbigay po siya sa, ng advice. Sinabi niya po sa akin, um, kasi ako naman sabi ko sa kanya, hindi po ako kapit ko sa kahit na anong posisyon eh, or panunungkulan. No? Kung ang palagay ko ako'y nagiging pabigat na sa isang institusyon, wala namang problema sa akin na, na magbitiyon. No? Uh, pero sabi niya sa akin, no, I'm not asking you to resign, that is really your call. Um, and then uh, he, he asked about what was the state of the settlement at sinabi ko naman and then sabi niya, kakausapin daw niya yung misis ko na nasa kabilang kwarto so actually kinausap niya tapos doon um, pinatawag ako ako lang, tapos kaming tatlo nag-usap ay Yun na nga, meron siyang specific recommendation si, si Pangulo kung sana matapos na ito, kawawa yung mga bata, ganun-ganun. At ako, okay na ako eh. Yung ako, kaya nga ako medyo nabigla kasi biglaan na lang, lumabas na naman itong affidavit. No? Pero kasi nga ang aking ano rin is that yung affidavit is dated August 1. Okay? And remember, we met August 1 at about 9 p.m. So it would seem that the affidavit was executed even before we met with the President. Sir, what's the clarification of what you offered? Well, as I said, I, I did offer. You know, I just said, ako, hindi ako kapit ako. Kung sa tingin niya, kailangan ako magbitiw. Wala akong problema. Sir, you answered what you have to offer. What is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer? Ay, hindi ko po alam yan. No? Again, uh, hindi ko alam na sila ba ang ano ng Liberal Party. Hindi ko alam yan. But you're not too, you're not at all connected or in communication with the Filipino. Okay, okay. Kaibigan ko po si Dean Nilo Divina. Matagal ko na siyang kaibigan dahil nga po siya ang dekano ng uh, UST. Uh, faculty of Civil Law at ako naman ang naging dekano ng FEU. Kaya doon kami naging magkaibigan. 
No, I, well, in fact, they're, they're helping us. Wala silang kaso. They do not represent any uh, protestant or protesty here in Comelec. Okay, well, open naman tayo dyan. Yes. Okay. Yun ang gusto niyang matagal na, no? na ever since nga 2013, talagang gusto na niyang maghiwalay dahil nga merong third party involved no? uh, on her part. No? Okay. Eh ako naman, bata pa yung aming mga anak, so talagang I was trying to save the family. Okay? In fact, her mother and my mother spoke to her and basically asked, why are you doing this? No? And uh, as I said, Maraming nakakaalam tungkol sa aming sitwasyon. Okay, at marami kayong pwedeng pagkatanungan. Nag, ano pa kami, nag-counseling, marriage counseling and all. Pero I guess talagang disidido na siya kasi nga merong third party siyang. The Vasquez family, sir, is the, your wife's family? The, well, well, my wife's mother is Baby Cruz. Okay. And she recently got married to Dr. Daniel Vasquez. Okay, and they're supporting you, sir. Um, weird lang kasi they're on your side. Well, because siguro, I, sa, basta, maybe you should interview her. Dahil ang sinasabi lang naman niya, ay, pumapanig sila kung ano man yung tama, kung ano man yung totoo. Sir, yung MBI, sir, will you Again, we will welcome any investigation. Sir, you said ninakaw yung mga financial documents ng November 1. Pero bakit hindi yung complaint or inereklamo ng because yung nga, ang pinaka mahalaga sa akin okay was yung mga bata maprotektahan okay meron na kaming drafts ng mga complaints na pwedeng ihain at alam namin na pag ito ay lumabas ay i-file namin lumabas sa media makakawawa ang aking mga bata at sabi ko nga sila ang pinaka mahalaga para sa akin pero itong nangyari ngayon kumbaga force to good kailangan ko din ngayon ipaglaban ang karangalan uh, ng aming pamilya uh, kung kaya't uh, kakusapin kong aking mga abogado at titignan kung anong aming susunod na hakbang. Sir, um, just to educate us, sir, you are an official officer. Can the criminal prosecution or your past, can you repeat criminal prosecution, sir, being an official officer? Ano sa tingin mo? Ikaw naman, ano yan? Ano yan? <laughs> 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 Siguro mag-research kayo, mag-research. But are you ready to face an impeachment complaint? We are ready to face anything and everything. Sir, sir, that's where we're going get the mga documents kahapon ng sila sa sating pag-iisip. Yes, well, as I said, no? Uh, and again, we can go um, uh, asset by asset. I, I can tell you, for example, meron dyan... Uh, Hong Kong Shanghai bank account 948,000 Hong Kong dollars. Pawang kasinungalingan yan. Okay? Kung yan meron man, kanya na. Okay? Merong RCBC account 12,000 dollars. That's possible. Kasi makano lang naman yung 12,000 dollars. Kung pagtitignan niyo yung salad ko, again, I have not seen. So I said, I think one of my, my salad is one of the high, well, it is the highest among constitutional offices and I think among government officials it would be in the top 20 sabi mo na no? so I used to be an international lawyer as I said I worked in New York for several years and then I moved to Hong Kong with an international uh, with an American international law firm I became a partner of Allen and Overy which is an English international law firm I became the president of Shangri-La Philippines so kahit pa paano naman meron akong uh, pinagkuhanan ba, ng mga perang ito. And I've been investing, you know. And masasabi ko, lahat ng assets na nasa salin ko, yun po ang aming pag-aari. Sir, you sir, you mentioned din, sir, ng Smartmatic call, sir. Congressman Loka mentioned. Yun ang hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga pinag- yun ang problema, eh, no. Minsan, gumagawa sila ng mga ebidensya, hindi ko alam kung ano yan, no. Basta ang alam ko lang is that ninakawan ako and that it's been 10 months, okay? And uh, up to now, hindi po binabalik itong mga kinuhan dokumento sa akin. 
over uh, meron akong meron silang binigay sa akin ng listahan ng mga bank accounts no? this was siguro five days after November siguro mga November 24 no? and doon sa listahan yun I can tell you kung sa 30 bank accounts siguro mga alahati hindi naman totoo in fact nag-issue pa ako ng special power of authority to her so that she can verify if indeed those bank accounts are real Wala, wala po akong tinanggap. So how about yung mga overseas? Alaga po overseas interest nyo or yung Okay, offshore account. Okay, offshore account. Okay, as I said, I was an international lawyer. I have had offshore accounts since the 1990s. No? But right now, I only have one offshore account together with my family. Okay? With the Bank of Singapore. And that is all declared. Wala eh, layon lang lumabas, ikaw naman. May kina- nakausap ko yung iba. Oh. <laughs> I think it's 176,300,000. I think, well, again, that's a public document, so it's something that you can uh, verify. Sir, may info na ang No comment. No comment. Okay na. O, 